Hey everyone, it's Andrew. So this is going to be a video doing an unboxing and review of the Bodum Bistro Electronic Coffee Grinder. Before we start, if you could just hit the like and subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Um, but a little bit of background, I've been using the Zassenhaus Santiago Coffee Mill Grinder or Hand Grinder for about 3-4 years now. I absolutely love this thing. It is my go-to grinder. I think it's the best thing since sliced bread um, as far as the construction, the design. Um, it provides an exceptional hand ground coffee every single time because you can customize it to whichever technique or method you're using. And it's very simple and elegant for what it is. Um, even though I love this thing, um, I've run more recently into the issue that when my schedule is busy, like in the morning or when I'm studying a lot more, like when I had boards recently, I didn't, I didn't have time to hand grind with this because it does take a little bit of time to grind the coffee. And so I found myself making just simple drip coffee using store-bought, um, like previously ground coffee, uh, just because it was quicker and easier to do when I was busy. Um, but it, it really is a, it like drip coffee provides no comparison to the coffee I make with like the pour over method. And so as a workaround to, to kind of get something like freshly ground coffee at home, um, when I don't have the time to use this Austin house, I wanted to pick up an electric grinder. And so all I did was I simply went to like Target and looked at the different options available. And I picked the Bodum Bistro electronic coffee grinder off the shelf as an option. And I've never worked with this before, but what we'll do today is we'll just unbox this, um, look at the general features. And then what I'll try to do is do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Bodum Bistro as well as the Zossen House to see the quality of grind you can get with this compared to hand grinding. And we'll also look at the general time it takes to see does it really speed things up without um, like impairing the quality of grind that you can get. Uh, so what we'll do is just unbox this real quick. We'll take a look at it and then we'll get some grinding going. Okay, so this is the Bodum Bistro coffee gr electronic coffee grinder. Um, I got this at Target for about like twenty to thirty dollars. wasn't too expensive. But what we'll do first is just look at the packaging. So this is the black design on their website. They have different colors and designs depending on your preference. But at Target, I believe they only had the black, so that was the only option available. Um, but um, essentially on one side it shows you the instructions, it shows like pouring the coffee, put the lid on, hit the button on the side for the power, um, and then it'll grind it and then use it in whatever you're using. Um, so that's one, uh, what it shows on one side. And then on the other side it just shows it in French, I believe. And then here it shows um, like the specific grinding mechanism or, or how it's constructed as far as having the lid, um, a little tray here, and then an electronic motor. Um, and then there's a, uh, like a whole, a grind or a cord holder, a holder on the bottom, but we'll just get this open and we'll take a look at it. Um, so when you open the packaging, um, nothing else in the box. Um, you get, wow, that's a pretty big instruction book. So this is a, Pretty big instruction book. Um, let me just glance at it and see if there's anything special in here. Not really. Um, but that comes with an instruction book and then it comes with the actual grinder. The grinder's in this like plastic wrap. We'll just take it off. And so here is the grinder. So this is the black design. Um, sorry, there's some tape here. We'll take that off as well. Okay, sorry for taking so long with that. All right, so here's the coffee grinder. So essentially you've got the, it's a black design, says so bottom on the, the edge here. Um, it's got some ridges on the edge for like holding it, I guess, for preventing friction. Um, there's a lid here, um, which comes off, and then there's a power button right there on the edge there, which will click into place onto this edge. And so if you press it down, you have to kind of get it set like that and then you'll press it down and that'll turn it on and off. Um, as far as inside the grinder, there is, as you can tell, um, like a single blade that spins. Um, this does not come apart at all. Um, all the coffee sits in here, I believe. There's no collection carafe or um, collection container on the bottom. So essentially when you make the coffee, it's going to 
all, be all here and then you'll have to take it out of this container um, to use so you'll have to get some sort of brush or something like that to, to take it out and then here's the power cord um, we'll kind of see how long this is just to give you a general idea but it's about I'd say uh, maybe like two feet long um, so that's uh, the coffee maker um, nothing too special it doesn't have a collection container but it is like a kind of standard plastic I don't think too much can break on this other than the grinding mechanism itself um, so just that's a, an idea of what it looks like um, what we'll do now is we'll essentially um, plug this in we'll throw in some coffee and we'll take a look at the different grinds you can get with it depending on how long you press the power button uh, to give you an idea of what quality of grind you can get okay so here's the grinder what we have now is i'm using trader joe's organic sumatra coffee i've been drinking this 12 13 years at this point these are really nice coffee beans that you can get for like 7.99 for a container like this if you have a trader joe's i highly recommend this um, try it out and see if you like it um, but we'll be using that in this video I've got a scoop what we'll do is scoop one um, scoop of beans into this container and then grind it for like a second or two and see what we can produce from this and then we'll kind of see how how fine a grind we can get and then I have a espresso brush just in case I need to kind of brush this out to, to clean it out or, or get rid of it uh, so we'll get started so essentially what we'll do is we'll start off with one scoop of coffee throw it in here um, and then we'll just turn this on you just got to hit it like that and then we'll turn it on for a couple seconds and see what it does one, two. and so that's after two seconds sorry the lighting's a little bit difficult in here but that's after two seconds we'll just pour this out and kind of take a look at it um, so for that after one second essentially there's still coffee that is like full beans this is definitely not usable so you'll have to do it longer than that um, so we'll add another scoop and then we'll do it a little bit longer like three seconds just to see so I don't waste this um, but here we go ready one one two three and so that's what that looks like um, hopefully you can see it on camera it's a little bit dark there on the lip but we'll pour it out there and so if you look at this um, it's still very coarse there are chunks like pretty big chunks in here um, kind of usable but not really just because you're you've got some chunks in there that won't be useful so that's after like three seconds what we'll do is about given we're having issues as far as it grinding we'll do like 10 seconds just to see um, so here we go again so one two three four five oh gosh all right so i stopped at five just because <laughs> i was curious um but so this is five and that's one thing i obviously just learned immediately is don't lift this lid off while it's still going because you're going to spray coffee everywhere and it's going to make a mess but that's after five seconds i was just curious after five seconds we'll pour that there so after five seconds i'll say that that is like a, a coarser grind something that you can use for like a french press um but it's not too too fine not something that i would use pour over for so that's five seconds there um so we'll actually do like 10 seconds now this time and i promise i'll actually do it i just got impatient there and wanted to see what would happen um so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right, so this time we're gonna let it stop all the way. Um, and if you see, it is definitely a finer grind there, definitely in better quality. Um, we'll pour it out on the side here and we'll take a look at it. So yeah, this is definitely something finer, definitely a better quality. There's still kind of like, I'd say it's a mid, mid coarse grind it's not the finest. It's not something that you could use for pour over necessarily, um, but it's something that, you might be able to get away with like a coffee drip or like a drip coffee maker um, but not the finest there um, so what we'll do is about 15 seconds now um, let me just get this kind of cleaned up because we've got a bunch sitting there and then 
we'll throw in another scoop and then we'll do this for 15 seconds and then we'll probably do 20 seconds and then we'll do a little bit longer. So this is going to be 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's 15 seconds. Um, as you can tell, there's definitely finer coffee in here. Um, it's kind of getting on the lid now and sitting there. And then this is what it looks like in there. Um, definitely more fine. We'll pour it out there. I don't know if you can see that far on the camera, but I'll zoom in later on. Um, and let me scoop this out. Just cause it's kind of getting stuck in there. Okay, so looking at this, um, if you compare it side by side with this coarser or, or like this other one, so after 15 seconds, it's actually pretty fine. This is approaching the point of you could probably use this for pour over um, and it's definitely usable and like there are no chunks in it. So I think this is definitely an option of using it for 15 seconds. Um, you definitely have a like a superior like something that's usable compared to these be beginning ones that were essentially useless. Um, so what we'll do one more time is that was 15 seconds. We'll do 20 um, now. I'm going to not count this time just so that we can speed it up on the camera um, so you don't have to listen to my voice counting. But we'll do this for 20 seconds. So ready, set. Okay. So that's 20 seconds. Um, I'll clean this up. absolute mess over here um so this is 20 second grind um hard to tell in there as far as seeing it because it's bat black but we'll pour it out over there and if you can tell as this gets finer it does get stuck in here so you definitely need some sort of brush to clean this out um, I wonder if this builds up over time as you use it on a regular basis. The issue is I don't even know if this is machine washable as far as like hand washing. So I don't know how you can clean this easily without potentially getting water into the motor um, because you can't really necessarily put water next to it. But I'd have to check that out and I'll, I'll comment below if, if it looks like it's machine washable or hand washable. Um, but after 20 seconds, um, I'll say that so it's a little bit finer than when the 15 seconds, but not substantially. Um, there's not that big a drastic change with that. Um, and then what we'll do one more time is we'll do 30 seconds just to end it and kind of see the finest we can get uh, with this. So we'll do this for 20 or 30 seconds now. Again, I'm not going to count this off. We'll just speed it along in the video. Okay, and that's 30 seconds. So again, bunch of coffee grinds on the top here. And it's hard to tell on the camera, but we'll pour it out. And about half of it's stuck in the container here. Okay. So um, after 30 seconds, it is fine, like very fine. You could probably, I don't know whether you could use this for like Turkish coffee, but it's its comparable to the Zassen House as far as the fineness and stuff. Um, so I don't see any issues. Um, so as we, what I'll do right now is zoom in and we'll kind of take a look at it. So let me make sure it zooms in and focuses. Um, but this was, so if you look, uh, this was after one second, so as you can tell, there's like these coarse, like whole beans still in place, so you can't use it like that. This was after three seconds, so there's still, it's not usable, there's fine, like big chunks in it. Um, but as you move along, we had, sorry, this was after five seconds. Um, and so this still has some coarseness and chunks in it. I wouldn't say it's usable for like French press or anything like that. But then once we started approaching like 10 seconds, this would definitely be usable. It's like a, like a mid coarse, like coarser grain. And then here we have 15 seconds, 
which was finer, 20 seconds here and 30 seconds here. The 30 seconds, as you can tell, um, is definitely a very fine grind. Um, something that you can definitely use for pour over and stuff like that. So uh, that's everything for the uh, Bodum electronic coffee grinder. Um, as you can tell, um, one little, a couple nuances to it is um, when you have it, um, what, like make sure it stops before you open the lid, otherwise it's going to spray all over like I had. Um, one caveat is there is no collection container, so all the coffee goes directly in here and you'll have issues as far as, um, you might have issues as far as pouring it out or having to get an espresso brush to clean this out on a regular basis. So what I'd probably recommend is every time you use it, get an espresso brush, clean this out, make sure there's not any extra in here um, so that it doesn't get stuck in the motor or clog it. I don't know how long this thing will last, but, but it'll be interesting. Um, and then the only other thing is I'll say that I have this plugged in directly under the island in my kitchen and that's as far as I can go with this cord. So the cord's relatively short. You'll have to put it on like a countertop um, closer to the wall to use on a regular basis. Otherwise, if it's like this, you you might have to like plug it in, take it up, like, like pull it out and like plug it in every single time you use it. Um, so that's everything for the, the Bodum um, electronic coffee grinder. Um, it's relatively cheap, affordable, like 20, 30 bucks at Target. Um, clearly it does the job and it is definitely quicker than using the um, Zossen House um, hand grinder. I prefer and like the Zossen House and I will probably stick to it on a regular basis. But what I'll do is if there's any issues with this, I'll do a follow up video and kind of tell you how I like it over time if I'm using it on a regular basis or whether I go back to the Zossen House and um, kind of put this on the side and never use it. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and if you have comments, questions, anything like that, just post them below.